Hi guys, Korean movie recapped here. Before we start. Warning, spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap a Thai romantic comedy film released in 2010, Crazy Little Thing Called Love. This movie is a story of an ugly junior schoolgirl, who secretly falls in love with the most popular senior schoolboy. But she has no courage to confess her feelings because her crush is every girl's idol while she is just an unpopular and also unattractive girl in the school. Do you think the girl will have a chance to show her feelings? Will her sincere love be reciprocated or just become a forever unrequited love instead? Let's find it together. This is Nam. An ordinary, bespectacled swarthy girl, who lives with her mom and little sister, while her father works abroad in America as a chef. Nam is in seventh grade of junior high school, but she is not that smart. So, to make her study hard, her father promised to take her to America if she gets the first rank in the class. Instead of focusing on her studying, she is busy paying attention to Sean, a charming, perfect football player, also a senior high school boy in her school. Every girl in the school is crazy for him, including Nam who falls for him at first sight. During her English class, Nam often purposely walks to the toilet to pass Sean's classroom and see his handsome face. She always finds a chance to steal glances at Sean, but Sean never notices her existence since too many pretty girls try to get his attention. One day, Nam and her friends are being bullied by others, Sean suddenly comes to help them. Nam then thanks him, giving him a gift. Surprisingly, Sean is familiar with her, even knows her name. Nam is delighted, blushing all the way home. She gets more passionate to pursue her love. She then follows some advice to win Sean's heart based on a guidebook 9 recipes of love that she read with her best friends. Unfortunately, none of her ways run well. Her best friends then do various ways to change her appearance. They rub her skin, give her some facial treatments, cut her hair, and many others. But nothing from her appearance changes significantly. At the beginning of a new academic year, all of the extracurricular clubs in the school open registration to recruit new members. Most female students, including Nam and her friends, are waiting in line to join Thai Dance Club, the most popular club for pretty students. But, Nam and her friends are unable to join the Thai dance club after getting into a fight with Fei, the other female student who is prettier and also her competitor to get Sean. Because of that, they have no choice but to join the unpopular English drama club for the school fair. In English drama club, Nam is selected to play as Snow White in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs drama. Nam surprisingly looks totally different, she looks astonishingly beautiful as Snow White. There are not many students watching the show. Sean is not there as well. It makes Nam feel upset but she still performs her best. In the backstage after the show, Nam finds a bitten apple with a letter written, Dear Snow White, this apple is not poisonous, I have tasted it for you. Nam is so excited to take it, she is so confident it is from Sean. Do you think it is really from Sean? Or is it from a nerd boy in the drama club? During the second year, Sean's childhood friend, Top, transfers to the school. Just like Sean, he is also very handsome and becomes a new idol among the girls. He is fascinated to see Nam who lately becomes popular because of her role as Snow White that goes viral. In a short time, Nam turns into a beautiful and clever student, an idol to many boys in her school. She is even chosen as the drum major of the school parade to replace the injured major. At her first time trying, she can't even catch her own throne. She almost gives up but her friends cheer her up. After her thousand times throwing and practicing, she finally can do the perfect throw. In the school parade, Nam looks stunning as the drum major, all students are amazed, especially Top who falls deeper for her. On Valentine's Day, Nam gets many chocolates and gifts, yet she seems unhappy because Sean hasn't given her anything. No longer after that, Sean appears with a flower with him. But Nam is very upset after knowing that it isn't from Sean, but from his friend. After going home from school, she finds an unnamed letter in her bag, and invites her to a certain place to meet the sender. The next day, Nam comes to the place mentioned in the letter. She is happy to see Sean appears approaching her, but Top suddenly shows up. It was Top who gave the letter. He confesses his love for Nam. Nam is totally speechless. But silent means yes, for Top. From that day, Tom presumes himself dating Nam. 
During summer break, Nam spends her time on vacation with Top and his friends. She has a wonderful time, because she can get closer with Sean who is on the vacation too, but she misses her best friend's birthday celebration. Nam starts to leave her friends and hang out with her new friends, Top and Sean's gang more often. It causes her best friends to push her away. Few days later, Nam and her new friends have a bonfire party. Nam uses every chance she gets to get closer with Sean. When they are celebrating their friend's birthday and dancing together, Top suddenly kisses Nam's cheek in front of the others. Nam is shocked, showing her discomfort, she then realizes what she did all this time is totally wrong. After the party ends, Nam finally tells Top the truth that she never accepted him as her boyfriend, yet she falls for someone else. After Nam broke his heart, Top painfully expresses his sadness to his best friend, Sean. Doesn't want to feel heartbroken anymore, Top asks Sean to promise him to never date with Nam. Sean has no choice rather to agree. On the other hand, Nam is no longer hanging out with Top, Sean and friends. She also has lost her best friends. She feels frustrated to do all things by herself alone. Although she has become pretty and famous, she realizes it all means nothing without her best friends. At the end of academic year, at school, Nam encourages herself to come to her best friends. The atmosphere suddenly becomes very awkward. Nam sits around them, begin to sing a song they used to sing in the past. Nam apologizes to her friends for ignoring them back then. Gratefully, they make up and their friendship even grows stronger. The next day, Nam's best friends excitedly come to her house, inform that Nam gets the first rank. Nam and her mom are so happy. All of them are proud of her because finally Nam can achieve her goal after studying so hard. As her dad's promise, she gets a ticket to America to study abroad and meet her dad. Before Nam leaves Thailand, her best friends encourage her to confess her feeling that she has been hiding for three years to Sean. They believe, Sean also likes her since Nam is very beautiful and smart. Nam finally agrees to confess her feelings. On graduation day, Nam approaches Sean in the school swimming pool. Being so nervous, Nam reveals her feelings. She honestly tells the truth that she has been loving Sean for three years. She makes a big effort to be better just for Sean. After all this time, she finally has the courage to confess her feelings just now. Unfortunately, Nam is too late. Sean has been dating Pin, a mutual friend. It really hurts for Nam but still she is trying her best to stay calm. She falls into pieces finding out that someone that she loves the most belongs to someone else. That night, Sean comes home to find out that he is accepted into a trainee program in a professional soccer team and has to leave to Bangkok for the camp tonight. When he packs his things, he opens his diary and smiles with a tearing eyes. What happened? What's inside the diary? It contains so many pictures about Nam that Sean secretly takes. It turns out that Sean has always loved Nam even before her significant transformation. Sean is the one who bit an apple and left it with a letter on the table. He grew a rose from seeds just to give it to Nam when it bloomed at Valentine's Day. At that time, Sean told that it was from his friend because he has no courage to confess his feelings to Nam. He sacrificed his feelings and endured the pain to see his best friend also loves Nam. Before he leaves to Bangkok, he drops his diary in front of Nam's house, at the same time, Nam is crying in her bedroom, badly broken heart. Nine years later, Sean is seen holding a baby. He then comes to Pin and gives the baby. Do you think Sean has married Pin? Fortunately not. It's Pin's baby but not Sean's. Then the scene moves to a live show and Nam is there as the guest. Nam now becomes a successful fashion designer in New York, she comes back to Thailand for a project and to visit her mom. The host reminds her of a quick flashback to her school memories. Suddenly, the host invites a special guest for Nam. Sean appears with a bouquet on his hand. Without any further ado, Nam spontaneously asks Sean whether he has been married or not. At the end of the story, Sean answers that he is still waiting for Nam's coming back after all these years. All of us have someone hidden in the bottom of our hearts. When we think of that person, we feel like we will do anything just for that person, we always feel a little pain inside but we still want to keep that person. 
Even though we don't know where that person is today, what that person is doing, or even if he belongs to someone else, but somehow, that person is the one who makes us feel that, it is the crazy little thing called love. For you who love someone, please tell him, tell her before it is too late. You know, a regret comes from missing things you didn't do when you had the chance. Anyway, have you ever been crazy for someone just like Nam? Leave your comments below. And also make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.